Charles. Gone. At the point of the deadly showdown between father and son, it's quite obvious that the relationship between Haytham and Connor was probably at its lowest. From the beginning, you basically had it in your mind that Haytham was going to die. How do you know that Connor didn't die? Well, that's quite simple, you're playing as him. But in this video, we are going to answer a strange question that does pop up from time to time, which is, did Haytham let Connor win? Or to be more blunt, did Haytham let Connor kill him? Now, there was no way of doing this video without throwing a spoiler in the title, but I figured that it's nearly been five years since Assassin's Creed 3 came out. If you haven't played it yet, you probably don't give a shit. Now, first of all, I do want to mention that I actually quite buy into the theory that Haytham actually let Connor kill him. If you read the book Forsaken, in the last few paragraphs, Haytham actually states things in a way that makes it seem as if he's actually going to die, so he knew that this fight would likely result in his death. Before we continue, let's read from the wiki how the death panned out. It says here, fearing for his co-conspirator's life and his plans, he sent Charles Lee away in hope that he would survive to continue the Templar's work, suggestive that Haytham already knew that that would be without him. Connor, who had been injured during the shelling, eventually reached Fort George's courtyard where Haytham was waiting for him. Haytham attacked Connor, and though he initially had the upper hand, Connor was able to even the odds by stabbing him in the arm. Eventually, a cannonball knocked them both to the ground. Reacting quickly, Haytham held Connor to the ground and released his right while belittling the assassins in their creed, to which Connor fatally stabbed his father in the neck with his hidden blade. Here's a visual. Haytham didn't even make an effort to avoid being stabbed, and with his fighting skill and experience, he definitely could have at least reacted to it. It says at the bottom, Haytham held Connor to the ground and released his right while belittling the assassins in their creed. Now, we know Connor stabbed Haytham with his left arm, and Haytham had that pinned before with his right arm. What seems to be the case here is that this is suggesting that Haytham removed his right so that Connor could stab him. Being familiar with the assassin Hidden Blade himself, that was a really stupid move. But Haytham is not stupid, and it's very unlikely that this was human error. So when Haytham released his right, he did so deliberately. You could argue that he did it to strangle Connor to death. Had that been the case, Haytham has Hidden Blades himself and could have easily used them. The fact that he didn't shows that he was delaying his kill, or maybe waiting for something. Otherwise, Haytham was stupid, which he most certainly wasn't. Which is not what I think about when I see somebody strangling someone even though they have hidden blades, and leaving an assassin with their hidden blade free so that they can stab them. I'm not buying it. So it does appear that Haytham sacrificed himself to give Charles Lee time to escape. Also, during the fight, Haytham does appear to be trying to talk sense into Connor because he knew what would happen if he failed to do so, which if you wonder what that looks like, it looks like this. Already, I find myself able to conclude that Haytham sacrificed himself and let Connor kill him. But the question that still stands is, if Haytham didn't want Connor killing Charles Lee, which he did afterwards anyway, then why didn't Haytham just kill Connor? Well. Connor is Haytham's son, he probably didn't want to kill him because of that. So Haytham's sacrifice was to ensure that Connor lived, but also to give Charles a chance to escape. Although not very far down the line, you discover that if there's one thing that Charles Lee sucks at, it's escaping. In an ideal world, Haytham would have made Connor see that Charles Lee did nothing wrong to him. Besides from that one time strangling when Connor was a child. Haytham wanted the two to come to a peaceful agreement, which happened very temporarily. Do I believe that Haytham sacrificed himself and let Connor win? Yes. And as the case turns out, Haytham's death was for nothing. So there you have it everybody. Did Haytham let Connor kill him? My answer is probably yes. However, please let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think Connor just got lucky of Haytham's error or what? Or do you think that Haytham deliberately threw the fight and killed himself basically? But either way, Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share, comment. I'd appreciate suggestions for future videos in this manner because I have made a couple before and I would like to do more of them. So that's all for this time, 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Like I said before, don't know why I repeat myself. And I'll see you all very soon. So, yeah. So, that.